Because after Tarnation, I had to, there were, there were a lot of family responsibilities that I had to endure to sort of make sure that all the T's were crossed and all the I's were dotted in my family. My mother and my grandfather, for a little while, um, was living with me and my boyfriend <laughs> in New York, and that was that was quite a feat to endure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was I didn't quite know what to do, and I've I've just had to sort of um, cut the cord with love and sort of allow other people for the very first time to take care of them in a way that I wasn't able to do. It's almost like a science fiction novel. <laughs> like on one level, you know, I created this piece of work that kind of gave me license to exploit myself, exploit my family, tell a specific kind of story, and um, but you and, and then I had to sort of, be, as a result of that, because of circumstances that happened, I had to end up taking care of them, um, which actually disabled me from continuing to make other works for about three years. Sometimes they were just previous attempts at making films, um, usually inspired by like the horror film genre from the 70s, which was one of my first and favorite foremost um, genre of film before I discovered like the likes of Alejandro Hodorowsky and Paul Morrissey and John Waters and all that when I was a teenager. When I Am I on? My name is Hillary Chapman Laura Lou Garina. This is like a uh, testimony, isn't it? Jimmy says, when I wear too much makeup, it makes me look like a whore, so I'm sorry. There, there were a lot of aspects of them that actually reminded me of some of my own family members or situations, like real life situations that yeah. I would actually have gone through, you know, as, as fantastical as they were on screen and, and laughable sometimes. I'm 11 years old, I'm 12 years old, I'm going to do this and maybe this will be useful one day, you know, I'm going to do something kind of extreme and, and, and hold on to it. And uh, obviously it didn't end up being in a horror film, but ended up being in, I guess, my own, my own life's horror film, I suppose, on some level. I'm glad the movie, the movie got out and uh, I'm also glad that I'm finally now in a position to where I'm able to continue and make more films. I'm still a fan of being able to just pick up your own camera and shoot your own thing and edit your own thing and, and think, God, I, I wish Tarnation would have come out now because I could have probably done, I probably would have been able to assume more control over it, self-distribution wise. Um, but this is a good this is a good thing because I, I people are saying that cinema is going to go away and that you know YouTube and, and, and the internet are going to sort of eat up cinema and the way that we watch movies. Mm -hmm. But cinema but is a language more than a format. A yeah, cinema is a language for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to go away from theaters. There should be no more excuses that making a film now is as easy as typing. Mm -hmm. A book, you know, or painting a picture. It's there, mm -hmm. there should be no more excuses that anybody can. Mm -hmm. If you really have a good story to tell, um, hopefully um, you can do it. It's a title of something that reminds us of our immortality, mm -hmm. and I'm. I don't know if I'm going through like like a, a midlife crisis. I'm 35, so I don't know if it's a midlife crisis or a gay midlife crisis. Be or, or what, because I've just been getting so, I think inherently we live in some very existential times right now, mm -hmm. like with where we're going. And I think computers have had a lot to do with that. I yeah. think that the instant gratification of being able to access bits of information ha is going to sort of um, organically extract us to like move into a further place with our consciousness and the way that we interact and the way that we see things. And who knows, maybe in the year 2012, when the Mayan calendar is supposed to stop and, you know, whatever, 
um, that you know something will really happen as a result of that because I, I think we're really changing we're really changing and uh, I think it's for the better I think we're going I'm, my heart is telling me that we're going into um, a new place and a mm -hmm. better place and I've been I've often been thinking about the um, another another subject matter that I'm, I'm going to be exploring in, in one of my new works is um, the idea that consciousness continues after we die and uh, that's that's a whole other thing so I'm really I'm interested I'm gonna I'm so ready to quit making documentaries <laughs> I'm not gonna I, I'm, I'm working on two other documentaries at the moment and as soon as those documentaries are done I'm, I'm going full throttle into making narrative films um, and I may tell those narrative films by way of sort of um, use of doing it in a sort of documentary kind of way in, in that, you know, uh, the, the way I would shoot it and the way I would probably get the story out would be sort of, um, hy you know, hyper-real on, on, you know, ambiguous in the way that it's shot. The new film I'm working on, the All Tomorrow's Parties, um, that's a working title at the moment. I'm not sure if we're all, if we're all going to sign off on the name of that film, which is about um, a music festival in England. Um, we're, we're definitely, definitely using the aesthetic of sort of um, obscured uh, looks and um, brightness and contrast and, and uh, very kind of choppy and all over the, a little all over the place. Um, I don't know, you know, the, what I did with Tarnation I think was a bit of an anomaly. I, I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know if it would serve me well to continue to make movies that have rhythmically flow like that. I don't know if you, it, it would be appropriate for any other movies, although I don't want to put that away completely. I, you know, I think I, there's, there's aspects of that aesthetic I can certainly dip into, maybe when needed. Um, but I just, I want to make all kinds of movies and <laughs> there's so many stories I want to tell.